Morris, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. You guys are doing good. Back with the pen. I feel like I kind of take a break from the pen. <coughs> like really doing a lot. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't really feel like it. Up and down. All right, you guys. Taurus, your love life. Let's have a look. So let's just have a look at what's going on in your love life. Okay. Remember that these readings are general, okay? Now, there's an um, alarmingly, um, earth-shatteringly limiting belief that you are completely crumbling down in your love life. There was one way you used to look at love that is completely going by the garbage. And it's a way that you're not fully embracing yourself, but you're also like too overburdened. The baggage that comes with this is forcing you in a way to not, I'm mean, strong arming you to not um, give into this and not to believe in this. So some of you guys are seeing something in your connection and you're feeling undervalued. You know, you're feeling like, um, you know, this person doesn't appreciate you. You're feeling like, you know, you're not gonna get what you want out of love. You're feeling like you're not gonna move forward. You're in some way, shape or form, like your love life is making you feel like you're, you're being denied or your person is making you feel like they're denying you of, you know, abundance that you deserve and denying you of who you are, okay? And there's an opportunity here for you to make a decision, okay? There's lots of different opinions swirling around. All right, your person is leaving behind stuff, okay? Your person, upon having this upon either delivering this um, realization by bringing you some sort of truth or they have um you know received the truth from you that you don't feel appreciated or something that you want to have done that this person might feel like they can't do or they're in a way you feel like they're suppressing you from it they're walking away from that habit something has happened to them <laughs> something has happened to this person taurus and it's made this person realize that they were denying you something that you really deserved and that you weren't really, they weren't nurturing you, they weren't appreciating you. Oof. This person is walking away from a lot of karmic energies, a lot of people that just drain them, a lot of situations that don't serve them, whatever. They're walking away from that, okay? And it's because they want a new beginning with you. They want a new beginning with you. And it's, I know it's unbelievable, Taurus, but it's true. I, I know, like, this person, they feel like you are their wish come true. Now, some of you guys, this person might have actually fully healed. Some of you guys, this person, like, they haven't fully healed, you know. But you've been wishing for them, you know, and so they're coming back in. And it's to give you something that you deserve. It's to give, bring you something or give you some sort of payback, some sort of retribution. Something that, you, that they owe you. It could be emotional. It could be just, you know, their heart. You know, if this person is healed, then they're coming to give you their heart. But they want to give you something that you deserve it in a way like they took from you. Okay. And they weren't giving you. And what it was was like dependability, standing by you despite all odds, but also being truthful and honest, bringing you justice. Okay. You know, and understanding that justice, like they were looking at this connection and looking at you from such a limiting perspective. Okay. And that's just what it is. Now, you guys are like all twisted up in the hearsay, a mess. You know what I mean? There are, <laughs> there's regret here that you need to work through, okay? There's re regret here, here that you're, that's coming up. It's coming up, okay? Now, you guys are feeling this, okay. This hearsay that's coming around, it's bringing up regret. It's bringing up old relationships that you had loved and lost. And it's so that you can confront these wounds because there's patterning that you developed, um, you started going in a, in a direction in your life that was a wrong direction because of the pain that dealing in this connection brought you. And I'm hearing it was magical. This person, they did magic on you, Taurus. Okay. Wow. It's fucked. It's fucked up. 
I love this song. <laughs> Push. <laughs> you guys, this person, they, you know, maybe this person on someone on their side did magic. Um, could have been a, a bad friend. It could have been just somebody doing a number on you, somebody being abused even. that That's a, that's black magic too. Abuse is black magic. It is. Abuse is totally black magic. You know what I mean? Oh my God. If your father is abusive, whoa. Or mother, like that is some sorcery, bro. That's some dark shit. You need to wean that out of them. <laughs> Soak it up. Like, let me get it really quick. You know, let's it's a talisman take this. You know, you know, some charm shit. But I love charms. Um, but yeah, you guys were really deceived. You guys are confused because you you met a deceptive person and it was it was a woman. Oh, here we go. You guys, the reading is here. You guys, I don't know what the fuck I was doing before. And I know you guys are like, yo, Barbara, I don't know where I've been at, you guys. I swear to fucking God. Yo, I swear to God. I swear. I've been like, yo, where are the readings? They said nah. Yeah, I was pissing them off. Yeah, I was fucking around. And that's why I say, yeah, yeah I need to chill. Because in the re I'm like, what's going on? Somebody got it together. <laughs> get it together. <laughs> We're all getting it together. I'm just joking. Nobody needs to get anything together. Okay? That's the first thing. You don't need to get anything together. You don't need to change anything about yourself. You're perfect. There's nothing wrong with you. Nothing at all. Not at all. Okay? Like, shake that off of you. There's nothing wrong with you. You're perfect. Did you know that? And your person, they might have had a habit of doing this, or you might have got with people, the ex, right? They had a tendency of, I don't know that part, but, you know, they might have had a tendency to kind of cast, you know, castigate you and be like, oh, oh, they thought that they was in the coven. <laughs> they didn't know you was the whole coven in that. But that's, but that's besides the point. But that's, but that's, but that's, but that's besides, but that's besides, <laughs> that's besides it. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, let's shift that over. We're not talking about that right now. You know, but, you know, they tried it. And this person, they are probably around mad karmics. If they're karmic, they're around mad karmics. And them karmics is doing them in. <laughs> them karmics is doing them in and using them up and paying them nothing. Like, that's what's going on. This person is realizing the support that you gave them. If they're gone, they're realizing how much you supported them. Um, they're coming back. It's because they realized how much you supported them. That's why. You know what I mean? Like, that's what's going on. I feel like you guys were supportive of this person despite the fact. You know what I mean? Like, despite through all the bullshit, purely. And this and this person is realizing this, but fuck them. I honestly, I don't know why I feel like y'all niggas want to say fuck them. But, you know, do whatever you want. If you want to say fuck them, say fuck them. If you want to say let's do it, then let's do it. Fuck it. Then that's just what it is. Okay? And that's just what it is. Boom. Don't get me started. I'm about to get more flowers. I don't know you guys are like, where's the flowers? I like the flowers too. I love them. I don't know. <laughs> All things die around me, you guys. I know that freaks people out. I'm not going to kill you. I like, I don't like hearing when people die. It actually bothers me. But um, no, the flowers, the, the lighting is funny. I fixed it though. I fixed it. I fixed it, you guys. So I'm going to get more flowers later on, probably tomorrow or something. I just get them random and I just get somebody else to pay for them. My brother to pay for them this time. Wink, wink. I don't. I just feel like you should offer me this. I'm offering you protection, so you should give me this and buy me that. I want this. That's how I am. All right, you guys. But yes, I will bring back the flowers. I know you guys are wondering what was the flower. I know. You guys, I know. Hey guys, we're shift. We're shifting. So um, your your vibration is picking up. But yeah, this person they realize what you were to them. <laughs> And I feel like a lot of you guys, y'all want to say fuck this person, and you definitely should, because I feel like whoever this person is popping up in me, I'm like, nah, I would definitely, I would definitely, 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 definitely say fuck. No, I would be like, absolutely not. I wouldn't say fuck that. I would just, I would hex him. <laughs> I would just hex him. <laughs> oh my god, they're still alive. Fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just listen, you guys. I'm just gonna say this because I'm just gonna get behind it. I'm not pussy. Am I? <laughs> I have one. I have a I have a couple actually. But um no, literally you guys, magic is fine. Okay. Sometimes you need protection. Okay, when you don't feel protected, that's what it's there for. It's there for you. That's what I look at it for, you know? 
that's what I look at it for. Everybody's different. But yeah, if you're interested in it, you should totally give it a shot. Don't suppress your desires for it. You know, do whatever you want to do. And trust yourself always. You are always correct. Okay. So, um, you guys, yeah, you guys are probably worrying a lot. Or you guys probably developed some worries when you were dealing with this person. This person really fucked with your head. And they're, you probably worried that they're going to be the same way. And it's like, I don't think this person could change. But some of you guys, it's like, maybe you might could like let them back in your life. But it's because you hear that they got some karma for dealing with you. This person is going to get some karma for dealing with you. There's a wish coming true. Oh, my God. Taurus. This person, they, they're they weak. This person is so weak. They're such a little pussy. They're such a little pussy footer. You know, that's how they are. They just, they, they, what they don't like to, <laughs> I see a Taurus right now watching this, like, mm, mm, I see her right now, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're mad funny. But no, and you know who I'm talking to. You know I'm talking to you. You know it, ton. You know I'm talking You better not even, I, I got I text I blocked you that's why <laughs> LA I I'm I'm like I'm listen I'm interesting but I'm here um but you guys this person they're such a little pussy and this person is <laughs> cuz I feel like whatever this person does like they front like they're so hardcore but especially with you like I feel like this person really projected a lot onto you and like i feel like a lot of this was knowingly so this was someone who knowingly projected a lot of bullshit onto you like they were just trying to fuck with you and um now they're realizing how much you love them <laughs> oh my god you know like oh but seriously this person is realizing it they're realizing how much you really meant to them and that they're they're like they, they kind of screwed up and that they weren't being who they fully were. They weren't following their heart before. They weren't. They weren't able to allow in this divine love. That's what it was for this person. They were too, the contrast that they were sitting in was not allowing for them to feel these emotions. Because they, they had to confront this contrast. And this contrast was a big wall that they were too pussy to confront. This person went through recent experience, let's just put it that way, that has caused this person to reevaluate how they really feel and take a look at themselves and realize that they was really trash. Like, this person was so trash to you. Oh, my God, Taurus. Yes, you guys are feeling like... You guys, now you understand. Because I feel like this person made you feel so paranoid about what was going on and whatever, but they were so trash, and they knew it. And they knew that they were treating you badly. But they also, like, I don't know, this person, they have something about guilt. I just feel like, like... In this situation, like they kind of feel like, oh, if I, if I didn't, um, whatever, they're kind of like doing that remorseful thing that's mad fucking annoying. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, okay, you know what? At the end of the day, I was right. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what it is. That's what it feels like. It's like at the end of the day, it's not like you were. It's not like you were trying to be right, but you was just like trying to be right by them and do whatever. And like this person was being so like degrading and disrespectful and all that stuff. And it's like you're you're just like I'm done with it. You know. And you, you're following your heart. And I feel like you guys had some pet. This person dealing with this person gave you some paranoia when it came to, when it came to following your heart. Like, did you really trust this person, you know? And they really violated your trust. Your trust got violated, okay? So they know what they put you through. They know how that felt, feels in a, in a way that they can understand. In a way that it's very equal, but... Because whatever it was that this person did to you, they didn't think much of it. They, they just kind of felt like, oh, whatever. Like, they're very superficial. So if you don't look a certain way, they don't care about how you feel. But if you stop looking that way, they don't care about how you feel. But they also are envious of people who look a certain way. This person, this person is a classic grade A narcissist. Classic. I mean, if you had a classic, you know, with them classic jeans, them classic style suits with the ladies in the 90s, you know, them classic, you know what I'm saying? Classic Levi cuts, you know? Like that person is a classic narcissist, and for them, it's like whenever they, whenever any, whenever you know, what I'm saying, whenever somebody doesn't look as good as them, they just like kind of throw them away, <laughs> or they kind of feel like, oh, whatever, or somebody's not as rich, but it feels like it's very superficial, it's very like looks, you know. So it could be a friend, and it could also be a love partner, it could be the love partners that you used to date, it could be the person that you're dealing with who they used to deal with too, and that's the energy that they're walking away from because they were tangled up in that shit too. You know, because 
somebody is going towards their wish fulfillment and leaving behind what is not, what is blocking them from their wish fulfillment, okay? And it's going to shock you, Taurus, okay? It will shock you. And it will, it will make you put down a limiting belief system that you used to have. It definitely fucking will. So this person, they just weren't mature enough to be in their emotions. And they made you feel very paranoid about love and about following your heart and about friendship and about connecting. You, you feel like you really let this person in. And that's something that you didn't understand. You didn't understand how much that was affecting you so deeply. Like you really let this person in and they really messed with you knowing how open you were with them. And they did that. And that's why this person was violated. Like this person really feels like, oh, I'm being violated right now. But it's like, no, this person, they, they violated you, okay? All right, this person, they violated you, Taurus. They violated you. And now they're getting some healing. And this healing that they've been getting, because they, they had a difficult ending. I mean, we're going to get the other deck to have a look at what this was. But um, they had a really, they had a hard, I'm not going to sing that part because I'm not going to hit that note. But they had a hard end. Ellie Golding, they sure did. You know what I mean? Like, they sure had a hard end because they realized, you know, if they were just being so shallow or being involved in shallow crowds, like some of you guys, this person is not shallow, but they were involved in shallow crowds. Some of you guys, this person was shallow and they needed to heal that shallow shit and it came from their whatever, none of my business. But you know what I was going to say. <laughs> so I'm just not, I don't want to get indicted for bullshit. You know what I mean? In the day you get caught up, you, you go to jury and shit. And that's what I realized about certain friendships, you know? So... In a way, it's like you haven't fully been able to be, even if you're in a good connection, because a lot of you guys here, you guys are in great connection. And that's the thing. I, I attract that. I know. Um, so you guys, if you're, if you're here and you're like, you feel like you're in a good relationship, but sometimes the hearsay makes you feel like you're not, it's because you are, okay? So you're going to have faith, okay? And free yourself from the things that bind. You're in a twin flame connection, okay? It's most of the people who is drawn to me. Most people, most people, if not all of them. Some people are kind of like not sure if they're twin flames, you know? And, and those people are kind of like the exceptions because anything could happen, but they're ultimately going to be on their path, okay? So don't worry about it. But in a way, it's like this person has not been fully like letting you be who you were or you have not fully been who you were. So this person, like, because that's why the both of y'all connected in this state because I feel like you're probably like, well, if this person was this way, I would love them. But I love them now, but I feel like if they were this way, then I would really feel. But it's like, no, babe, like, you know, the person that you're connecting with, they're walking away from that shit. But you need to understand how you were still holding on to certain things in your own way, in your own way, not the same way as them, but in your own way. Now, for a lot of you guys who this is the karmic ex, you know, because the karmic ex shows up in the readings all the time, they never let go. Those are the people who, like, when you conclude the semester or you conclude the contract, they keep on hitting you up. You know what I mean? They keep on trying to hang out. And it's like, baby, that's over. You know what I mean? Like, but it's at the same time, it's like, but we didn't have a connection. And, and when, when, when I was trying to have a connection with you, you was being so fucking fake. Those are the narcissists, you know? A lot of them all over the place, all over the place. That's why it's like your heart gets so broken. And then you guys, you know, you give up your faith and love and don't give up your faith and love. Because a lot of you, every single one of you guys here, you know what I've seen, have, 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 under, have been victimized by this in some way, shape, or form. And there's someone out there that can love you and that, and that loves you already, but they just have to know you. But they already love who you are. They just don't, they just haven't put a face to it, to the name or to the essence or to the person or to the personality. But once they meet you, they're going to know it and it's going to click. And that's out there for you. But narcissists try to rob you of that. And so I'm just like, yo, open up, okay? Let it go. I'm, you know, we're all victims. I'm victims of narcissistic abuse every day. Every day, that's why I cut off the comments. It's really like hurtful, you know, and like energetically and stuff. And I deal with stuff too from people, you know? And, you know, when it's when it comes to like certain people being very like, I don't know. You know, you feel evil energy, you feel evil eye. And I'm like, why are you here? You know, and that's a, that's a karmic. That's, that's, a, that's a narcissist. That's someone who is trying to vamp off my energy. It's freaky. It's scary how it has happened to me. It's really scary. And so I know like for a lot of you guys, so you guys are not even aware of how people like try to, it's creepy, but it's like, they feel like they, if they don't do this, they're not, they're not going to exist. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is your family, you know, your family of origin. Your culture, they did that a lot, but you got protection from them, though. Like, you guys are defending yourself, and so you're getting protection from their bullshit. 
It's a fucking fact. Some of you guys, like, your ancestral line was mad. Like, like, why are you guys doing all that, you know? And that's just, but that's the reality of it. But, you know, back to this person, there's healing going on. This relationship, there was so much triggering that this relationship caused that whenever you thought, whenever you connected to the relationship, you got in such a low vibrational state. In fact, connecting to this relationship took you down so many vibrations. You are healing this. Somehow it's healing. And there's a wish come true in, in this relationship between, between the two of you guys, the karmic and the divine person that you're with, or the karmic if you're you know, just moving on from the karmic, the divine person, if you're only with the divine person, for the karmic person, they're getting something terrible happen in their life. And this is going to bring about a wish fulfilled. And I know some of you guys are like, well, I don't wish for bad things. But this is going to make you you don't sometimes it's like, well, I don't and I understand that. I know I get that. But sometimes when people really drag you down to the gutter, and, and it's like it re you're really feeling like you're still in that fucking gutter and you're trapped and like you feel like it has robbed you of so much time. Watching someone who thought that they could do that to you go through something so insane is so fucking healing. And that's just what it is, okay? And that's just what it is. Because it, that's something about whatever this is happening. It doesn't have to be that crazy, but it's so fucking healing. And it's going to make you, when you think of this relationship now, you're going to feel a state of, you're going to feel bliss, pleasure, delight, happiness, satisfaction, which fulfilled, whatever it is that comes towards you. Some of you guys, this person could be coming to you and this is the wish fulfilled. And this is going to make you feel a lot better because it makes everything else make sense that already happened. For others of you guys, something is happening to this person in their life. It doesn't matter bad or good. And it is bringing a sense of sweet bliss, sweet energy to you guys and making you guys feel that way for one another. Okay, there are a lot of changes going on. All right, you guys. So I'm going to, I'm not going to extend this, you guys. I don't really feel like it. Sometimes I'm like, I don't really want to extend this. I'm just going to get this, throw this up there. And I'm going to um, go ahead and, um, yeah, just live my life. <laughs> and, you know, feed myself. I don't know. Um, but you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for sharing and liking the video as well. You know, all the information about me is down below. And, um, you know, take care, you guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.